let the overnighter begin. Beautiful day, cracking sunshine, flat cam conditions. Let's hope the pike are hungry. <laughs> That's the bivvy up, the rods are in, we're all chilling. I only put three rods in, I was doing some lure fishing. I got some of these off Dave Greenwood, really nice. These lures are called Little Ernie's. They're an American crankbait, they're actually a they are a crankbait. But really nice. That's a roach, you've got a fire tiger and you've got a trout pattern as well. They get down nice and deep, you've got a good rattle, plus you can uh, bounce them off the bottom because they're so buoyant. When they hit the bottom, instead of just going up straight away, they go out like that there, so you can hit them into a snag and they'll get out of it, you know, so they're very good for bumping stuff over like obstructions. So we're going to do a, a few bit, a few hours lure fishing later on. You know, there's only me and Mr. H here. We have the whole jetty to ourselves. So we're going to make the most of it. Stayed overnight tonight and finishing up tomorrow. I've just uh, put the bivvy up in the car park. The uh, hopefully the bivvy will be weighed down by the weight of the bed chairs and all the gear that we have in it. But we're just taking it nice and easy. There's no point going hell for leather at the minute. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. You know, this morning when we arrived, there was uh, lots of kind of like the grass was white, you know. It was very, very, very cold. I mean, the drive down here, it was negative five leaving Oma this morning, so. But now, I mean, I'm in a jumper and I'm kind of thinking about taking the jumper off because I'm almost too warm. But that means that come tonight, because I don't see much cloud cover, the temperatures will drop again. So it isn't a bad pro it isn't a bad you know the sleeping bag will keep us keep me warm. You know, there's enough uh clothing to keep me warm. It's only a, an overnighter, so we're not gonna be here for the long term. But it's just nice to be fishing somewhere and not have uh not have to worry about the floods because this is one of those jetties that rises and falls. It's a floating jetty, so the urn is still flooded. The upper urn where we're fishing is still flooded. Places like Derriad is still underwater, so you're not going to get onto them. I'm directly opposite Crom Castle uh, in a place called Derravor. You know, and it's good. No, it's good. I'm enjoying it so far. We'll get the uh, the fire pit on in a minute. Well, we'll get the fire pit on later on tonight. Just looking around, there's a, a lovely, there's a lovely wind just coming down that direction. And if the wind was just kind of anchored and angling over there a little bit, it would be absolutely peachy for a drifter float. You know, in the part of my brain that says, get the drifter rod out, get the drifter rod out. It's actually screaming right now, but I'm thinking that if the drifter float was out, it would pull a bit. You know, too close to the margins. You know, you'd want it to be going. I don't mind if it's going down the lock. Down the lock's fine, but you want it to be going down the lock and away from the away from the side. You know, last thing you need is to be drifting into snags and bushes. But we are. Uh, I have a big, popped up brown trout. I have a. I seen them in the shop yesterday when I was, actually we went down to Enniskillen yesterday. And I bought some red herrings. So let's hope the fishing adventure isn't a red herring. Hey! <laughs> now that I'm a dad, I can tell dad jokes. Better you get used to that, folks. No, uh, my wife got me a birthday present. He got me a new computer. So when we went down to the PC World in Enniskillen to pick up the computer that it said it had it in stock on the shit on the uh, the website. They didn't have it in there. They hadn't sold it, they just didn't have one. 
Uh, so they have to order it and then we have to go back and pick it up. It'll be here in about three days. But I thought, why not? You know. So a new PC should make the videos easier. You know. As I explained in the last video, the, the PC I have is from 2012. It's very old. It's it's just slow. A week inside prison is probably quicker. You know, for videos that are like under 10 minutes, you can do them in a, a few hours, but anything over that, the thing just takes forever to do anything. You know, I, I tried to do little things like special effects on the videos, like blur things out, you know. There's a couple of places I fished, or I have fished, I've not put them on the, on the channel. Simply because the, uh, the background would be too identifiable, so I plan to kind of blur the background out a bit. But, just trying to get it rendered as an absolute ball ache. And then you get people asking you, you know, come about Thursday if there's no video. Well, where's the video for this week? It's like, Jesus guys, give me a break. So hopefully with the new video, things will be a bit easier. New computer even, things will be a bit easier. I might even get to do some live streams. I'm actually thinking about doing a live stream tonight using the phone. You know, the, if the reception is decent enough here, I might get away with doing a live stream. But apart from that, the sun is out, the rods are in. It's almost uh, time for a spot of lunch. Cooking with scobes tomorrow or today is going to be a real treat for you guys and for us. Right. Having a breakfast burrito. We're having German Mexican combo food. We're going to do scrambled eggs, German bratwurst, black pudding, and wrap it all up in a, a like a, a wrap, like a burrito made of breakfast food with some cheese. Because you have to have cheese, and you have to have habanero sauce. So that'll be tomorrow's breakfast of winners. Is it too early for a beer? No, it is not. <laughs> Would you like a 10 ounce? Oh, I think it might be. I think I might have a, a cold beer because it's a fucking beautiful day. Let me get some beer. It's just gone about 12 o'clock actually, so it's not. I'm sure it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Have a beer and chill out and watch the world go by. Magic. Should just anchor up right in front of me and throw in bits on top of me. Whole lock, and this is where people come. Magic. Fucking magic. Let's do some lure fishing. I'm gonna chuck out a big bulldog here. I quite like these lures. Something big and Larry.
catching on the bottom here. Bringing back some debris. Good thing about lure fishing is you can try a load of different retrieves. You can try just a straight retrieve that keeps it a nice tight shimmy, or you can jerk it and then it dives. They're quite heavy with the lead in these things, so they are uh, a bit of a beast. Put manners in you, throwing them about all day. So far, we've not had any fish, not had any runs. It's been a quiet day, but it's been awesome. The weather's been beautiful. Got the campfire on the go. And it's no longer uh, cooking with scobes this evening. I'm getting cooked for. Mr. H is cooking the, the curry. Wind and dined. So it's, it's going to be good. I just have to do breakfast tomorrow to make up for it. Don't let it get under this jelly. That's a decent fish, that's a double. That was a that was an that's an angry fish. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't pleased. Me only after me curry too. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. I'll hold the net up yep. and let you get the. Yep. Oh Jesus! Now he's wrapped up. He's wrapped up. I tell you what, we just left the whole fucking thing rod yep. and everything down to the. Have you got the rod up? That that lead as well. Aye. Let's go. Try not to fucking skip. Oh, sorry, I'll come back. Hey, not bad there. Put it on the perch. Nice. Right, the hooks are in the fucking net. If I guess I'll just put it into the unhooking mat for five minutes, just yeah. hook a cradle first. That's coming out of it. There's the It's alright, it's alright. What we're gonna do is we're gonna when I get it unhooked and I'll put it in then. Yeah, that'll rest for a minute. Yeah, that'll rest for a minute. Before we wait. Oh, that's a nice double. Oh, it could be about 13, 14. Give me 
yourself. Perch is gone, dude. Oh, here, don't worry about that. Perch is gone, and that other hook's in the net. So, let's get the... Alright. I think we left that now, the weather. Oh, no, 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 good. Right, do you want to... Get him into the swing. Yeah, just... Well, the sun's up, the up, but the sun's up, it's all good. Yeah. We'll just let it sit, in the, sit in the margins and get, get five minutes to itself. That gives you time to rebit and cast it again. It's been a long time since I heard fish, but <laughs> that's a long time. I'm a happy man. Had a run, it fell off. It was a pretty positive run, but it's uh, fallen off. It's just gone. It's just gone 10 to 9. The temperatures are beginning to kind of fall. This gives us to go down to minus 5 tonight, so. Gonna stoke up the, uh, the wee, wee campfire we have here. And then. Maybe retire to the the sleeping bags. There's a clear sky. There's no real wind. There's no cloud cover, so it's going to be a nippy one. So we just have to man up and uh, hope the sleeping bags keep us warm. <laughs>
Morning. That was an affair night last night. The weather said it got down to minus five. I haven't checked inside the van to see what temperature the van says. But definitely felt that one last night. I think that kept you warm, but you could feel it in your face. You know, it's just like, oh, Jesus. So, definitely cold. How cold, you might ask? Well, this is the unhooking station. Everything is fruit solid. Net is fruit solid. That's a, well, it's not real solid. But got the rods in. That was interesting trying to cast rods with the reels with the bread that froze. <laughs> so we're going to get big casts until the sun comes out and burns out the uh, the frost. But I think it's time for a cup of coffee. Something to warm the bones. This is our vision. Lots of vest. Hopefully that the sun eventually breaks through, it'll burn up all this. But yeah. Still blanking. Got pretty cold last night. The, well, near enough six minus six. So it was cold. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit for our American friends. I have no idea what it is in Fahrenheit, but it was nippy. The sleeping bag kept me warm, but I felt it in my face, you know, so I had to kind of get under the sleeping bag. And yeah, it was an all right night. I had one run last night at the death. Uh, it seemed a positive enough run, but when I went to set the hooks, there was just nothing there, so I'm not sure what happened. And apart from that, the bits are back in. I have a skimmer bream, a herring, and a trout on. The trout's popped up and wellied with, uh, with oil, salmon oil. And apart from that, everything else is good. We've had a cup of coffee. I've road tested the Ridge Monkey Shitter. I mean, toilet. It isn't designed for a man of my stature, I don't think. But the task was successful. I'm sure you are all loving this bit of the vlog, eh? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make some breakfast for me and Mr. H. And see what the rest of today brings. It's actually been a really nice morning, you know, the mist's kind of coming off, the sun's kind of getting a bit higher now, so it's burning the mist off a bit quicker. But everything, I mean everything, was covered in frost. About an hour ago I spent, uh, I spent a good hour, 45 minutes, throwing lures around, and it, the water was at uh, cold, the ice was forming in the, the rings of the rod. So that tells me that it's still nippy, so... So uh, I put the little rod back down. I'm going to make breakfast now. Breakfast today is going to be something different. It's going to be breakfast burritos. So uh, stay tuned for breakfast burritos and how to make them. Right. We have black and white pudding. We have bratwursts. Obviously we need cheese for burritos. We have eggs because we need eggs. And then we have some plain tortillas. So let's get into this. Trying not to uh, rip the packet so that everything flies out of the fucking thing. These are from Little, you know. I quite like Little. Their uh, their, their meat section is usually pretty good. 
And that's for two of us. It's going to be good. Obligatory test to make sure the tongs are operational. Can't have non operational tongs. Got a love for those. We're doing a German Mexican combination. I cook these and I'll show you what's happening next. Right, so done the black pudding, done this the bratwursts, doing the eggs. It'll be two wraps. There's five sausages in the packet, so we're each getting five sausages. But it'll be over two wraps each, so it'll be two eggs, some black and white pudding, some bratwursts in a, in a, a wrap. I even have some smoked cheddar and mozzarella cheese, just to add that little bit to it. This is meant to be a resealable pack, but I think they might be lying to me. It's like them packets, I just, just open here. Am I fucking going daft? Where's the seal? Fuck it. <laughs> okay, the wraps weren't a good idea. It turns out that the Mexicans and the Germans can't exist. The wraps just weren't man enough to take the bratwurst. So, and let's just calm down you Germans. Let's just not go and fucking pick off the Mexicans. Leave the Mexicans alone. But, too much food for one man, so Dwayne's dog's gonna have a, a feast. I think the, uh, Buying 10 bratwursts for two of us was a bit optimistic. We could have bought a packet of five and had two and a half each and been perfectly happy. But. Especially after last night's tea. Mm, had a curry last night, it was awesome too. But the sun is now, the sun is up. What time is it actually? It's just gone 11 o'clock. We've had one fish on the bank that Mr. H had. I've had no fish on the bank. So that's a bit shit, but what can we do? I'm gonna slowly pack up the bivy here now in a minute, now that the sun's cut and burned off all of the condensation on it. So we'll do that, load the vans, and just chill out and fish till, uh, probably fish till about four o'clock, half four, and then take a slow drive down the road. No point rushing. I'm off work tomorrow again, so I got told I had holidays that I had to use, otherwise I would lose them in the new job. And I was like, okay, I'll take a random weekender off. And they were like, yep, cool, no worries. Which was awesome. I like being told I've got extra holidays that I didn't know about that I have to take. So. Cracking day. Fucking beautiful day. There's a, the wind is now, and yesterday the wind was kind of going that way and kind of turning. You know, you couldn't really go to drifter float out like yesterday because the wind was kind of going too close to the the shore here before it kind of drifted and went that way. So you had to set your drifter float at about three feet, which would have been too shallow. And the wind today is coming this direction. 
So no drifter float. The drifter float rod's packed away, which is a shame because I love actually fishing with the drifter float. There's something nice about watching a float, especially the drifter float, because you can sit there and your eyes can deceive you. You can lose focus of where it is and go, is that a tick? And then you kind of focus and you see it and say, ah, it's not a tick. And then there's times where you, you sit and you watch the float and the float's there one minute and you blink it, it's gone because it is a tick. That's why you use, like the rod I use for the drifter fishing, there's 12 and a half foot, three and a half test, and it's got 60 pound braid. The other spool that I have, I have on those those uh, those bait runners, I put, I think it was 55 pound or 60, 60 something pound. I can't quite remember what it was, but it was either 55 pound or 60 something pound. And then I have another spool that has, uh, it's just, well it's 45 kilo, so whatever that is, it's probably 90 pound breaking stream. I would have that for fishing more snaggier places. On the rods that I've got now that are in, it's, uh, it's, it's spider wire at the minute, and it's 0 0.40 millimeters. And that was meant to break it something colossal, like 100 pounds. So I've got spools with that on it, and I've got other spools filled with 55 pound Power Pro. Um, I'm testing the spider wire. I've had good and I've had bad like, reviews on it but testing it for myself I've spooled four big pits with it and one of them has been a problem where I spooled it and the last maybe 40 meters of it there was like a bulb in one stretch of the line it almost looked like two ends of braid had been glued together now I tried pulling it apart and tried to break it and I couldn't break it so what I did was I re-spooled it so that that little bit, that little bit was closer to the centre of the reel and the rest of the line's fine. That was the one thing I found out with spider wire that was a slight issue. I'm going to actually go and, well, inject some oil into my baits. The big trout's popped up, it's doing its, it's, doing its job. If the big trout rod goes, it'll be... It'll be don't my luck, it'll be a fucking four pound jack that can't put the thing in its mouth. But the other bits are good. They've got a little uh, hybrid, roach bream hybrid and got a, a, a herring on. I don't know what Mr. Was you throwing a smelt? And uh, a smelt and a so there's a selection of hors d'oeuvres out there for the pike. They just have to show up and start munching. But it is a cracking bloody day, man. It is lovely and bright. I'm loving this weather. Just had the breakfast. Having cup of coffee number two, drink that, then I'll sort this bivy out and get it put away. There's loads of time left in the day. I'm actually surprised I haven't seen any other anglers turn up here. You know, or even even here, other anglers kind of where we're fishing right now and the swim that I call the church. Church is just over that way. You know, it's four hundred yards, maybe four hundred yards as the crow flies, that way. So it's it's close to where we are, but I don't. I, I, you'd hear the road traffic, and I've heard no road traffic. So maybe the anglers of the urn have thought, ah, the pike are spawning, and uh, let's not bother doing it. Or their wives and girlfriends have said to them, not today, sunshine. You've got to paint the kitchen or do housework or some other inane bullshit that the women want to make us do. We're going to the garden centre. Yeah, garden centres. Fuck, I hate garden centres. Apparently I have to buy a new lawnmower because the petrol lawnmower I own, my wife can't start it because it's just too big. I can't help it if it's too big. Yeah. <laughs> well that is the, the bivvy packed away. The campsite area cleaned. And all the main stuff kind of ready to play Van Tetris. bigger van would be nice. I keep looking at the uh, the VW transporter vans and thinking they'd be nice. You know, there's a, I looked at a Peugeot one, although everyone told me to stay clear of Peugeot because they were, uh, the reliability was a bit crap, so stay clear of them as told. But apart from that, it's uh, not that I have anything wrong with that van. You know, I'm still happy with it, still, you know, there's no problems with it, mechanically it's sound. 
and I'm fishing just like one person. Brilliant, not a problem. Taking two men's worth of gear, again, not a problem. But an overnight session for two men, two sets of bed chairs, you know, bed, two bed chairs, big bivvy, sleeping bags for you know the, the two sets of different people, and then all the other stuff, you know, like the uh, the Ridge Monkey Porta Shitter. Christened the Ridge Monkey Porta Shitter. It was. Not a comfortable experience, but it is what it is. It is a bucket that you take a crap in. Yeah. No, there's no nice way of saying it. It's a bucket that you shit in. And it was all right, I guess. They come with these bags that you can have, you know, they're like a little patch, little sachet of powder that you pour in before you go and you drop your bombs. And the uh, sachet powder turns liquid into gel. For those that's military minded, it's like the old John bags you used to get issued for like Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, when you couldn't just nip out and take a dump somewhere, you had to kind of use the John bags. Only difference is the jo it doesn't have the, the sticky bits that stick to you when you're taking the crap. Now there are going to be people out there wondering, you know, what the hell's a John bag? John bag is an American device that's a bag that you basically take a crap in and then it seals up and all the liquid in it turns to gel and then you you dispose of it safely. Uh, you don't at all give it out to the, the locals who were ch chucking rocks at you two days beforehand and say sweets, sweets and chuck it at them. Don't do that. We would never have done that. Little bastards. But anyway, no fish. One run. I've thrown lures about. I've. Mr. H has now thrown lures about. I've changed up bits, I've oiled bits, I've popped them up, I've done about it as much as I can with the bit. And it's not looking hopeful at the minute. Got to fish for another couple of hours and then take a slow drive, slow drive home, and have a shower. You know, it's a bit strange. I mean, I had a shower yesterday before I went, before I obviously came fishing. And they normally I have a shower in the morning. It's like my like routine in the morning. I like wake up, brush teeth, have shower, go to work, or in the case even if I'm not at work, you know, wake up, brush teeth have shower. So bivy sessions where you wake up and you, you you do the basics, you know, you change your like underwear and socks and stuff. And you think it's just not the same. So when the first thing I do when I go home from these things is have a shower. <laughs> you know. But that's personal hygiene. Personal hygiene's important. If you're doing longer sessions, like if I was doing longer bivy sessions, and I do intend to start doing longer bivy sessions. Doing longer bivy sessions, I'll uh, start to kind of, well obviously bring a toothbrush with me anyway, and brush teeth, and but for like a shower facility, you just don't really have it here. Not really in a winter setting, you're not going to use a solar shower today. Well, if you do, your bare ass isn't going to be uh, impressing anybody. It's not going to be more like uh, like like Daniel Craig doing the James Bond scene, coming out of the water and his budgie smugglers. It's going to be more like uh, like Swamp Thing or Harry and the Hendersons. For those of you who don't know what Harry and the Hendersons is, that's a movie about a, a Bigfoot, a Sasquatch. Top movie, I'm going to suggest you go and watch it. I kept, when I first seen Harry and the Hendersons, I wanted one of those costumes so bad. I was thinking, it'd be fucking awesome, you know. Hiding, like, where I live, like, there's like a nearest, like, forest park to me, it would be like, Gorton Glens. So I had this idea of, uh, wearing the Sasquatch suit, and just kind of like, 
stay out of the road the bushes and like have some little old granny. Some little old granny walking her little Yorkshire Terrier and run out from behind the bushes and pick up the Yorkshire Terrier and run off with it screaming DINNER or something like that there just to scare the absolute bejesus out of a few people <laughs> I'd laugh I might give the old dear a heart attack can you imagine the phone call to the place the PSNI I just saw a Bigfoot that snatched my dog and run off screaming lunch Aye, aye, of course, fuck with hugs, lay off the drugs. Looking, that's the sixth phone call this week. We've had Sarge about some Bigfoot terrorizing old people. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I might do it. Wonder how much one of them suits would cost. I do have a friend that makes special effect suits. He's one of these guys that builds like like people their own Darth Vader or Star Wars costumes. Like he does it for a bit of a side hustle. I wonder does he do does he do uh, Sasquatch? Temperature wise at the minute it's actually nice now. The wind is just well the wind's coming directly towards my face. So, yesterday the wind wasn't, the wind was going like that way, you know. so wind has changed, temperature has risen, that's the church bell that's just rang in the background for the afternoon church service, so that would be about 2 o'clock I think, 2 or 3, can't remember what time if it's the afternoon or I don't know if it's two or o'clock or three o'clock. I know it's one of the two of them. But apart from that, I'm just enjoying the uh, the day so far. Let's see if we catch something, or if it's another session where I catch cock all. Had a good breakfast though. Not as angry as last night's fish. Not bad. Not bad. No, that's a decent enough fish. Not bad, yeah. Oh, it might be a double one, see. Great. Yeah. Yeah. No, it might be ten pound. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Take photographs. 
How do you know your fish has been laid in the bottom? Right, it's covered in ice or leeches. That's a leech. And looking at the looking at the land in it, there's about 20 of them in it. So that fish has been laid on the bottom. Those cold snaps must have just sent them to the deck. Well, hello there. We're at the end of another adventure, eh? It was a bust for me. I blanked, which was kind of crap. But what can I do? You know, at least Mr. H caught fish. So it wasn't uh, a complete loss. It was a good weekend. I enjoyed myself. It was a thorough test of some, uh, some new equipment, like the Ridge Monkey Chitter, I guess. I don't know what else to make, all other way I can describe it, you know, testing the Ridge Monkey bucket that you take a dump in. It served its purpose. You take a dump in a bucket, it's not rocket science. However, I also want to say uh, that I've been peer pressured by, by you guys, basically, some of you guys, uh, to open up a... It's, it's, People said to open up Patreon or something like that. I didn't open up a Patreon. I opened up a Ko-Fi account. Now, that's set up where you guys can buy me a coffee or a pint or whatever, you know. And to be honest, it felt a bit uncomfortable, you know, doing that. Didn't, uh, but I keep, I mean, if it's like not like one or two people that's asked. It's been quite a few people that's asked for this. So what I'm going to do with anything that comes in it, I'm going to use it to uh, make the channel a bit better, and that's just what's going to have to what's what's going to happen with it. Um, personally, I'm just stoked that you guys are watching the videos and enjoying what I put out and you think having a laugh, you know. So if you want to, it's there. If you don't, then you know that's cool too. I'm not going to come around to your house and say, you know. Buy me a pint or your kitten gets it. Anyway, this is the new computer that I'm uploading this on. It's a bit different. My old computer was operating on like Windows 7, which was like Stone Age stuff. And this is Windows 11. The computer doesn't like my old Windows Movie Maker, so I had to upload a new one. And I'm getting to grips with that. So bear with me. I might have to kind of do some playing around to try and make the videos a bit better. Because at the minute, some of the stuff it's asking me to do is like, what's this here? Why do I need that? Oh shit. Okay. Fair enough. But I don't know. Because the new computer is up and running and it's actually working you know, fairly good, I might do some of the live streams again. And I will get on to doing the shorts, the uh, the back to basic shorts for you guys. People are asking about them as well. I'm going to try and keep them, you know, between like 5 and 10 minutes. Not very long. Just basically all the simple information that you need to go and do things like set up a rig, tie a trace, little things. If you guys want me, want me to go through some of the stuff for those short videos, then let me know and I'll make one for that. But like I say, those are for 
you know, like relatively new guys to the channel or relatively new guys to angling, those, those aren't going to appeal to everybody. So, bear with me there in the pipeline, they are coming. Not much else I can say except thank you to everyone that's liking, sharing and subscribing and all the good stuff that, uh, that you have to do to appease the YouTube algorithm. Shite, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Until the next time, guys. Tight lines.